What's up, guys? We're back with another podcast. Yeah. Three months later, mm-hmm. we're trying to stay in routine. One one podcast yeah. every three months. It got exhausting, so we had to take a break, dude. Yeah, but we're back. One podcast every three weeks. It's a lot to put out. We're back. Really I'm doing is. important things. He's doing some things. <laughs> we got, <laughs> buddy. We, we got. We're bu- both doing some things. Yeah, you're right. Okay. We got a busy schedule. Let's be bro. honest. Yep, we got a busy schedule going. Yeah, he's uh, he's starting up a website. It's pretty crazy. Well, it's already made, actually. I mean, it's there. Yeah. He just finally gave me the free code. Crazy. Which you should have supported I me. I'm not doing that. Why not? You're I'm, not just, gonna, I'm just not going to. You're not going to support me, bro? Buddy, I've given you enough cigars people that... Talk, people talking about... I deserve it. You know... <laughs> what are they talking about? Chang Pao. Okay. So I just started a website called The Blind Faith Club. Really yeah. awesome. I'll get into that later in the video, though. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm putting up really great numbers... You know, doing the most, yeah. doing the best. What's really great numbers? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Depends dude. who you are. That's what, yeah. What, what? What? Yeah, yeah. Part of the planet you're from. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll go with that. All for types sure. of stuff. But um, yeah, dude, we're finally back in the studio yeah. after what feels like three years of not being in here, and. Uh, it's mostly because Buddy can't afford the gas money to drive over here. but So, that's not true. So, we're actually going to do a challenge. <laughs> Wherever I put my finger on the map with my eyes closed is where we're going to go to. Are you okay, ready? Okay, good. Dude, oh, it's Florida. That's crazy. Oh. All right, we'll have a video there we're literally back. later today. We're in Florida. Yeah. No, but actually, we'll be going to a run right here. No. Texas. Oh, yeah. Texas. And then also Outer Banks, Buddy. Right here. Yeah. Give or take. But We're yeah. staying a three-story mansion with a poker table, a pool table, and a, a pool and a hot tub and an auditorium and an elevator. And it's all types of stuff with three stories. We're going to be doing podcasts on the roof, yeah. the middle, all types of stuff. I feel like nobody can understand what you just said, but... Should I do it in another language? Three-story mansion. Don't go. On the beach. We got a movie theater, poker table. The dining room table, bro, literally fits like 15 people. Yeah. Like, that's how big this house is. And luckily, there's a kid's table for Jacob. <laughs> yeah. I'm older than you, pal, but whatever, dude. Kid's table. And... Yeah, dude. But anyways, it's going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be crazy. What does you being older than me have to do with anything, huh? I mean, I just, like, I'm just better at certain things, like, just oh, naturally, dude. Dude, you're not better at anything. Yes, I am. You're older, bro. Yes, I am. Dude. Like, recording, podcasting, like, obviously, I'm the better. Dude. Like, obviously. Come on. We know who's the better filmer here. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like we know who At least it is. we know. We know who the better filmer is and the better editor, dude. I'm yeah, the one carrying know. the channel. We know that. I just had to go to a chiropractor appointment in Georgia because my back was hurting from all the weight I'm carrying around. That's exactly what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. But I'm always putting up the numbers. I'm always putting out better all reels. All my reels get more views than yours, dude. 153 to 1.5K. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, every time I put something out, it gets more pay per views. Okay. More buys. It's just how it You're is. a fake recorder, bro. It's just how it You're is. You're a fake filmer. You don't even record f- real films. What does that even mean? First of all, oh, and no. second of all, like you record I'm just better, bro. Like you record stuff that isn't really real, and then you just like I actually record with a purpose. Like the stuff that I do, people want to see. Yours. Hey, let's listen. Re- let's go back to North to Carolina. See yours, if people wanted to see yours, then why do mine have more views? Hey guys. Hot Springs, boys. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Yo, dude. Hot Springs. I was trying to get the right clip, okay? Day one. That was legit. We're out here. Listen, if you were better than one, we're going to throw that views. clip in. Hot right, Springs. Admit, out of the 143. We were at 142, and you got us to 143. <laughs> I honestly think I got I'll more subscribers that. for us. I'll admit that. I got us more subscribers. So you think because you're older, you're better than me? That's exactly what I'm saying. No. Yeah. Wisdom doesn't come with age. Yeah. And you know what made me really mad, dude? What? And I mean furious. What's up? When I came over to play poker the other day. Yeah. Your team called me. They're like, bro, do not wear that Prime shirt, dude. It's my event. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, but like we're related. Bro. It's my event though. We're related. Yeah, but you always play that brother card when it comes down to like you, bro. Like, hey, yeah, we're, we're brothers. Oh, dude. dude, we're brothers. We're brothers, bro. We're brothers. But then when it comes to like your your stuff, you're like, no, nah, I'm bringing it. Like, th- it's my business. Yeah, I mean, I'm so just, I'm just trying to make You always play money. both sides. I'm just trying to make some money for myself. <laughs> you always dude. play both sides. Honestly, dude, I only care oh, about myself. Got another exhibition coming up. <laughs> Yeah. Can't wait for it not to go on my record. It's a real fight, dude. You know it's a real fight? It's the fight for your marriage, dog. <laughs> That's the realest fight you've ever You're had. You're honestly right. <laughs> it's going downhill fast. All right, guys. I'm Jake Paul. This is Logan Paul. And welcome back to Impulsive. Welcome back to Impulsive, the Unknown Podcast and YouTube <laughs> channel. And this is my YouTube channel. And that's why my name's right here. Yep. Um, basically we're arguing i'm married about, to johnny knoxville and things ba- are going down basically quick. we're arguing about how i've only had a bunch of real fights and he's done nothing and somehow he's better yeah i mean it just makes sense whose side are you on in that dude i go do fake wrestling bro by the way all joking? that was a joke we weren't arguing it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're brothers dude, for the of peop- course for the people out there that are like bro why are they arguing about this stuff it's just yeah. a joke guys come on yeah it's just a joke when Jacob tries to argue with me, I just shut it down in real life, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he obeys that crap. No, but I am Logan Paul. My life is falling apart slowly, but at least I put on a leotard. You don't think his wife's cute? No, I don't. I think Honestly. she's pretty cute. I think that she could be cute So to somebody. Let me ask you an actual question. <laughs> Why do you always do that with your lips when I'm about to ask you a question? What? You're like, all right. No, 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 so... We're we're at, we're at the beach. Mm-hmm. We're walking down the beach. You've never seen this chick before. Matter of fact, yeah, we'll keep it interesting. She walks up to you, and I can't say what would actually happen because mm-hmm. it would, you know, there's certain people watching this. She's <laughs> that stupid face you're doing it again. Keep going. And then she's like, "Hey, can I get your number, dude?" You're I'm gonna have her put her number in my phone. Whipping your phone out faster in your life. Yeah, she'll put her number in my phone, but I'm gonna have her name it Flat Stanley. But then you're. <laughs> you know what I mean. That way, I don't get her confused. But keep going. You're dating her, <laughs> and putting a ring on her finger. I mean, I'm not, dude. If I'm trying to film Jackass 3... So, hold on. Let's not yes. disrespect her, bro. No, no disrespect. You just called She's her Flat obvi- Stanley. That was disrespect. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and say that publicly. I'm sorry already. But, um... What's the logo? I don't even know what else was... All was Lives Matter? Say. What's the logo? Don't do that. Just put you a can't, sensor on You my can't mind. do that. Okay, just bleep my voice out Keep going. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's not good, bro. Can't say that. You would definitely date her, bro. Like I, there's no. Well, I'm not. You think Tana's she's bad? beyond my league? Jeff Tana? Wittick, yeah. I mean, I would. T- <laughs> not. She vapes, bro. You're a scumbag, bro. She vapes. That's it. You know so who I mean? are you picking, Tana or Logan Paul's wife? Tana. Really? I think she's more bad. Dude. Honestly, I do. This is what's wrong with the world. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Keep going, though. What do you think about uh, Jake Paul's girlfriend? Oh, my. Yeah, we shouldn't be talking about this, honestly. All right, we'll move on. I got too much respect for, we'll move for on, that bro. situation. We'll move on. I mean, she's a world-class athlete, bro. All right, so you let me ask you a question. You getting, you getting a girl in Outer Banks? I mean, maybe. You never know. See, I'm the guy in the friend group, you know, that has to be the leader, lead by example. It's not true. I follow God, so I don't do any of that stuff. Okay, but okay. I have to lead by example for these guys. But I will try to get them, you know, a girl just because it's funny to watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make it happen, <laughs> nothing dude. to say. Make it happen. So that we're, I have a secret series that I'm going to film with Gabe. But you're not going to know it's about not, it. I now know about it. But go ahead. No, you know about <laughs> a secret series. You yeah, don't know what's about, it about. That's why it's called I can a guess. secret. It's going to be about me trying to get a chick. No. And you guys trying to set me up. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Whatever, dude. No. It is what it is. So we get there. Outer Banks. Mm-hmm. Night one. Poker table. Pool table. Mm-hmm. Rooftop cigars. Yep. 
Nice cigars. Movie theater. We're, We're going to go watch Oppenheimer down again. the elevator. Up and down the elevator for no reason. Then get into the hot tub Yeah. with another cigar. I hope it cools down, bro. September in Outer Banks, I wonder. Oh, because it's North Carolina? Yeah. With flaming the ocean, hot. it'll probably flaming be pretty hot. hot yeah. Yeah, dude, it's going to be a crazy trip. We got a good squad. We've gone with this team to multiple places, so. We might be recording a parody, too, while we're there. Yeah, we want to do some, some good videos, some funny stuff, and probably some good quality clips, too. I'm trying to figure out how much I want to record and also enjoy the vacation. Yeah. Like. We need to find, like, a half and half for yeah. sure. Like, maybe at night, only get clips at night. But, like, in the morning or in the daytime, just, like, hit a podcast, get some, like, actual videos going throughout the day. I'm down. I, <clears throat> so I want to just enjoy the evenings for ourselves, to be honest with you. I want to find a really sick coffee shop each morning, like a new one. I'm sure there's plenty. It's like a downtown beach area, kind of like New Smyrna. Remember the Keys, bro? Key West. Yeah, bro. Just go to that Cuban the shop, Cuban bro. Cuban coffee. We... It's incredible. We definitely punched out that ticket mm -hmm. in what two days, and there was like twenty coffees on it. Yeah, bro. We go. We almost missed our like. And our, that breakfast spot, so cheap. You remember the one? We only went there like the last morning. We walked to it. It was right next to the base. I think so. I think so. It was good, dude. Really good. What was your favorite part about that trip, dude? I'd have to say that sunset cruise. The first one. That whole night, the one that I was just feeding you drinks, like I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but you know the yeah, one, that, dude. That one was that crazy. was crazy. And then like the next day, like just the whole event of the next day, jet skis, freaking banana boat, parasailing. It was crazy. In general, but yeah, dude, bro. My I don't know if you remember this, but the life jacket they gave me was broken. I don't remember. It. So, the the part that you like. I guess pull to blow up or whatever it was. They're weird life jackets. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to pull something to let air out, but water's not supposed to go in. And I was so puffed up, I couldn't even put my head in the water to actually snorkel. And I didn't want a life jacket. I ended up just taking it off. And when I pulled the thing, it filled with water. Oh, for snorkeling? Yes. Yeah, yeah And I, I just you. started slowly going yeah, down. Yeah, it was like one tube, right? That like yeah. wrapped around your waist? think that was it yeah yeah no that was Dumbest stupid crap, bro. bro i'm i'm scuba certified i don't need a freaking life jacket to swim at the top of the freaking shallow water that snorkeling that was so fun because we didn't know like what to expect going no. there and we saw a shark too yeah small shark but it went right underneath us what did we do the last was it a two-day thing i think it was three days what did we do the third day we spent the morning just walking around, I think. And then we drove home like midday. And we stopped at the that one spot for lunch. No, we drifted into that one spot. I said, you want to go here oh, last, last minute? Second. Like, yeah. here's the turn. Here's us. I said, hey, bro. Oh, Island Marotta Fish yeah. Bro. Oh, my God. Dude, dude, the coconut breaded mahi. Yes. I got that once I seven years ago. For that. And I thought about it ever since. Yeah, dude. It's nuts. Um, oh, wait. What was the night that we did... The haunted tour, but we couldn't fit on the bus. No, we didn't want to pay for it. Oh, was that it? Yeah. How much was it? I think it was like forty or fifty bucks for like an hour, and we just walked around. Was it that, or we all couldn't sit together? It was also that, but we just didn't oh. want to spend the money on it. Gotcha. Because we were pretty broke. So we just walked around mm -hmm. and stuff, and you you got pina coladas, and I just sat there. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Twenty one's coming up. 21 in March. Yeah, bro. I don't even care to, like, drink, but just, like... No, we need to find, like, a nice bar. Yeah. Like, a nice atmosphere that you could just buy drinks and just chill. I think yeah. that's what you've missed dude, mostly. Like, yeah. We, I, don't, we don't really get drunk like that, so... Dude, like, I hate, I hate bars, like, a majority of them. Mm -hmm. I hate those type of places, and I hate the morons in them. But, like, I love certain beers on draft. So, like, just being oh, able dude. to sit down and get one. Draft beer, like... It tastes so much better. It's not... Nothing and, Nothing competes with dude, draft like, beer. Dude, like, definitely the German restaurant, bro. Oh, yeah. For and sure. get the big... You know the one that I got the last time on accident? 
Yeah, the boot. Yes, dude. Like some people are into like wine testing and crap, but I don't. I don't like wine. No. So I just just like a good meal with beer. Dude. A nice draft beer. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need. Also, like going to a really nice cigar lounge and mm-hmm. just relaxing. That's there. what we should do, bro. Dinner at the German place and then hit and then the cigar Krona? lounge right after. Krona? Buy a nice cigar and just chill and get another drink there. Yeah. Sold. For and real. We'll bring Rhett and your dad. For real. And that'll be the night. I wish, like, a fan base of, like, believers and non believers followed it so I could ask genuine questions. Because, like, there's a huge debate. What, if, on the website? No, just, like, watch it. <coughs> oh, there's, this? like, yeah. Because there's, like, a yeah, huge... Yeah, I'm sure it's a mix. Because there's, like, a, sure. there's, like, a huge debate of, like, people that think it's a sin to smoke cigars and then mm-hmm. others that don't. Yeah. It's weird. Because, like, some pastors, like, I have a cigar in, in an old-fashioned whiskey, like, mm-hmm. once a week. Yeah, there's nothing but wrong with that. But this is the way that I look at it. This is my argument for it, okay? Yep. Like, I'm not getting high. I'm not getting altered. I'm not... It's not going to my lungs. I'm not addicted to it. Yeah, that's the biggest it, thing. It, I can drive anywhere on the planet, and you can't get arrested for having tobacco in your system. No. And this and is you can work. I, you can work any job. Yeah. With tobacco in your system, like nobody's gonna stop you. From yeah. This is the way that I look at it, dude. Like, wine. Like wine's biblical to drink. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have to age grapes or whatever. For a very ex- a long period of time and soak them yeah. for wine to taste good. Which is the same concept Cigars, as beer, alcohol. Now, now, weed's different because it alters your mind and it messes up your ba- yeah. your brain. Although a lot of people say that it's a lot better for you than drinking alcohol. Because alcohol alters your brain and it like destroys your like your internal organs and stuff. Well, of course. Sleeping like your with your heart. One... What is it? Your liver? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So Sleeping like, with one girl is better than a hundred. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean it's right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Like, I don't specifically want to ever smoke weed, weed but weed, people do say it's better. Weed just slows your brain down, dude. Like, it's not yeah. good. Also, you you can't drive anywhere. You can't talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. And some potheads are like, oh, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, that's because you've smoked millions yeah. of dollars of weed. They're that's immune not, to it at that yeah, point. Yeah, but the way, like, tobacco leaves... Yeah. You have to soak them in bourbon. Right. The longer the longer age, the better it tastes. The more expensive. It's the mm-hmm. same concept as wine to me. Why do you drink wine? Not not just because it tastes good, but because it's something relaxing to do. Yeah, it's like a vibe. I mean, dude, I can't remember a time I even drank wine. Yeah. I mean, at a nice restaurant with a steak, it just makes sense. Wine, like, I, I like would, for you, sure. You drink wine, even if you're a believer or not. Not just because it tastes good, and you know, yeah. you, you do it to sit down for sure. Have a conversation with somebody else. If mm-hmm. you're doing it by yourself, that's kind of weird. Have a conversation with somebody else, and just it relaxes your body. Like you're not. I mean, unless you're like drinking seven cups dude. a night. Yeah, dude. Unless you know, you're like one sit it. buzzes you. Yeah, exactly. But that's the same way I look at cigars. Like I do it in proportion too. Although like, last night you had a pretty bad cigar. Three puffs and I literally threw it away. Yeah, like I'm not. I don't know what was going on with that. It was Romeo and Juliet. I mean, that's like a solid. It's a solid brand. Plus, never like, had a problem with it. dude, cigars are like such good. Like you can network really well with, like, yeah, sit down, have dude, good conversations. The people that you meet. Plus, I feel like if you're at a really nice, and I'm not talking no rinky dink cigar shop. I'm talking extremely high end cigar shops. Yeah, like you sitting down. In, in an environment around other successful people and conversating, smoking a cigar. I think that, bro, this podcast room happened from us sitting on the dock, mm-hmm. smoking cigars, thinking about Everything it. Everything we've done yeah, kind of came from those conversations, which we could have had anyways, but, you know. I mean, but we weren't just going to sit on the dock to sit there. Like, we needed something yeah. to sit there. Yeah, exactly. And we're not fishing. No. Not a chance. Buddy, the There's first nothing. time we fished. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. That there, was dude. crazy, dude. Yeah. That was crazy. It was really bad. Imagine like this is all I want, bro, is I want like a barnuminium cabin style, mm-hmm. but like modern. Yep. Not like a log cabin or anything. In like Wyoming or somewhere out there. I don't care if it's Colorado. I don't care if it's Wyoming. I don't care if it's Utah, Arizona. Washington Ch- State, bro. Okay, you're right. Washington State. Yeah. Somewhere in that area or Oregon. I don't even care. <clears throat> Just put it somewhere in mm-hmm. there. And have a nice car at the top, chop my own wood in the winter with yeah. the with the flannel yeah, dude. and boots, bro. Mm-hmm. That'd be the life. Use Doctor Squatch. It's soap. like almost like living in Alaska. Yeah. Except you have the common amenities throughout the day, like good place to park your car, roads to drive on. You know, bro. Let me 
let me walk you through this cigar shop in Georgia, dude. Yeah, go ahead. It's next to so me and Richard go to Boot Barn. He saw my boots and he says, "Yeah, it's game over." Yeah. Buys an entire fit. Yeah, yeah. An entire fit. Of course. And wouldn't expect anything. Different. After that, we, I look up this uh, Mexican place. Like you know how I am finding restaurants, bro. Yeah, incredible. Best. Whatever it was, it wasn't Mexican. It was mm-hmm. like something else. Best, one of the best foods we've ever had in our life. Richard's like, bro, how do you? On the way there, I'm telling him about my streak on our road trips. Yeah. In Georgia, I just happened to find a crazy place, and next to it is like this rinky dink, vape looking shop. Right, the open signs like flickering. The door looks super ghetto. The glass is dirty, and I'm like, "What is this?" I'm like, "Well, it says cigars on it. You can't even see through, bro." We open it up. The fog from this room is covering the roof. Like the did they have like fog machines or just the smoke? no? It was from the cigar room, okay. but it would like seep through the glass, so it was a yeah. vibe when you walk in. You got some dude in a fedora and button down reading a book. And there's there's like maroon suede couches, and then there or velvet couches, and then there's like vampire leather looking couches. A full bar set up in the corner. It has like paintings of Leonardo DiCaprio with a cigar, all like JFK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those ones. They was have, there like a lot of people in there? Or no? no, just one person. Okay. And then the owner, which was also on the couch smoking a cigar, with a huge like probably seventy inch flat screen, just playing soccer. Oh, nice. And then on the left side, you have, like, all these handmade pipes from Turkey, dude. Like, they were insane, like, carved. Yeah. And then in the back, you have, like, this huge just cellar, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Room. With all the cigars in them? Yeah, but they're brand. Yeah. They didn't have Romeo and Juliet. They didn't have Monte Cristo. <laughs> yeah, some of those places don't have, like, the basic stuff. They only have very specific stuff. Dude, it was, like, you can't pronounce anything in that room, yeah. bro. We, uh, me, Sean, we stopped at a cigar place in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and that place was so cool, dude. Was it, like, fancy or just... It was fancy, but also, like, it was an old San Juan, so it's, like, super old building. Like, you could tell it's been there forever. Yeah. And uh, there's just a bunch of artifacts on the wall, like, talking about, you know, people importing that stuff back in, like, the 1800s. Um, Like, the whole front was, like, an antique shop. So you could buy like oh that's sick old dressers and like really cool stuff that you'd put in like you know the room we're talking about like the basement of our yeah. houses like stuff that you'd want to put in there for sure and that's then cool. if you want to get a cigar somebody has to come over with a key and unlock this dude. like huge wooden cellar how much was that double leaf that you got oh dude I want to say like nine dollars like it was really good price and that double leaf was the best cigar I've had to this day really yes no question well it's isn't stuff cheaper in Puerto Rico, like certain things, or no? In a way. I mean, it's still the U.S., and a lot of stuff has to be imported over there much more than it is here, so. It's not pesos? No, it's U.S. <laughs> dollar. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm just messing with you. That's crazy, dude. Um, but yeah, man, it was a sick shop. Like, it was really nice. This one had, like, tobacco leaves from a farm mm-hmm. tied with, like, an old rope and hung from the ceiling. Oh, wow. In the shop, and they still smelt. Yeah. And the handles of the doors were cigars. Like, glass-carved cigars. Jeez, dude. Insane. That's sick. And we got to stop by there. 100%. I'm sure Sean would definitely go with us. He lives, like, minutes away from there. Yeah, that'd be cool if you, me, Sean, and Richard went. Mm -hmm. We just have to plan it. It's an EDM festival. I don't care to go, but I'll go to one. Oh, the festival? I'm talking about the cigar, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when I'm when I'm 21, I'll go back. I'm going to one in Miami. I don't know if I'm going to hate it or not, but Record we'll see. It. Yeah, I will, as much as I can. If I if I do like I want to go, but when is it again? October, like 19th through the 24th or something like that. Yeah, I want to go, dude. I just yeah. I don't know. We're getting an Airbnb. We're going to a club while we're there too. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, dude. It's not my thing, but it's it's good people. Like, I just, you know, I want to check it out, you know? Well, yeah, Nick's cool. Who knows how it'll be? I don't know anybody else going. I don't either. Yeah, yeah, I, I just really hate clubs, to. bro. Just I've bu- never been. Just a bunch of, dude, you walk in, there's nothing but just straight Klondikes in every direction. 
Klondike. They're there for, they're there for one thing. Yeah. Clapping. Yeah. That's the only purpose they're there. No. You're they right. go, they blow all their money, and then they leave. You're hundred percent right. They put their g- genetically modified microwaved food in the microwave, and then they eat it. And they go to their 9 to 5, and they come home, and they watch their Netflix show. Mm-hmm. Then they save all their money for the club on the weekend. They hope they get some, find the love of their life, and then they repeat. Yep. And that's everyone in the club. It's not me. No. Well, you're also, like, not Who's a club it? guy. Yeah. I'm just there for fun, dude. Dude, everyone's going to hate that I just said that. Who cares? They're going to be like, dude, oh, I, sh- I definitely don't care. Yeah. It's going to be my favorite part of the I mean, it's not good. It's not no, good it's for not, you dude. at all. I mean, it's not even like a social environment. Like, you can't no. say that you're going out there to socialize. You can't even talk to the or person next to you. Or network, bro. No, you can't talk to anyone. Like. At all. Like, dude, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, me smoking cigars, people call it worldly. And, like, you're not leading people to God doing that. Like, bro, I'm not in the club freaking mm-hmm. waving my cancer stick with banana. <laughs> the banana berry Only blast. bro's banana clap and yeah. bl- blueberry blow pop. With my, my freaking waist belt, yeah. with my cancer stick in the waist belt. Yeah, dude. <sighs> yeah. And then going to get a girl's number. Yeah, it's, like, that's ridiculous, it's bro. It's definitely bad. You know what me and Jacob do? We sit on the porch or the dock or whatever, and we sit there and collaborate. My million dollar mind. <laughs> my billion dollar mind, buddy. No, no, yes, dude. No, yes. No. <laughs> Yeah, we do good Bunk. work, no question. Yeah, man, a lot of stuff to come, for sure. No all right. question. I think that's about We're all we got. It up. <laughs> yeah, We're dude. wrapping it up. Yeah, I mean, it's solid. I mean, club, cigars, Outer Banks. We'll take it. All right. We'll see you guys in three months. See you guys. Peace. Yeah! Your place is mine. That's the part where it is. Like and subscribe.